Qu'est-ce que tu Oh, il est sauché la tête. Oh, il cheat, il est gars, oh là, il cheat, trop, c'est pas possible. Il va te cheater, le belge. Il cheat, trop, c'est pas possible. <laughs> Bro, there are just some guns in this game that are just too good. And I'm gonna be sharing with you the top five best weapons in this game, in my opinion. I'm gonna be showing you the full loadouts with all the tuning and everything you need to know. So let's get into the video. Please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and let's get into it. Alright, so let's start off with the tacticals and lethals and perk package. So you obviously want to hire Harpy Tensor as your tactical at all times. You need that. And Semtex is what I prefer. C4 is okay, but I noticed that it doesn't blow up cars in one shot anymore so it's not like the old wars on one c4s it's pretty bad in my opinion you could use a drill charge though drill charges are not bad but i would recommend semtex is gonna work most of the time and the re obviously i use this perk package just because of overkill that's literally the only reason but if you want to use only one of these weapons then you definitely do not have to limit yourself to this but the only problem is that like i hate the perk package system but i'd probably recommend this one right here this one is probably the best one because of fast hands and for high alert definitely really good ones top five loadouts in warzone 2 to use in my opinion currently so first we got the m4 the m4 is obviously the trusty old m4 for the muzzle we got the harbinger d20 muzzle this muzzle is probably like the monolithic special from modern warfare or warzone 1 and it's really really good so you want to be using this and for the tuning for it this is what i use the maximum bullet velocity possible and the aim down sight and recoil smoothness is about like in the balance in the center of it next we got to have the high tower barrel because this barrel is basically like the long range barrel for the m4 you got to have it if you want the range on your m4 you got to have this barrel on here's the tuning for it basically recoil steadiness to the max and the ads to damage range are balanced out next we got the vlk optic now Obviously, we use this a lot in Warzone 1, basically, but in that game, it was VLK 3.0, but this time it's 4.0, it's basically the same, still probably the best loadout and the best optic in the game to use. Here's the tuning for that one, the maximum ADS, I, I for this one, I'm not 100% sure, you could go for more flinch resistance if you want, but I like ADS, so that's why I have that, and I have it on far, more far, because it looks nicer when it's a little zoomed out the vlk optic because it's like all in your face if it's very close so you do not want that next we got the 60 round mag obviously you want you 60 round mag like come on more ammunition obviously you want this and then we got high velocity for the ammunition now obviously this makes sense because you know you want to kill people from very far away for the tuning for high velocity there is no tuning like literally just leave it default because it's gonna ruin it the second gun we have is the ak-74u or in this game it's called the cast off 74u but yeah that's what this gun is the cast off 74u and let's show you the loadout so first we got the phase 3 grip as the under barrel now the reason we have this is kind of like the commando 4 grip except it decreases ads a little bit but it's not that big so it's fine and basically it just helps with the recoil on the gun tuning for that leave it default next we got the short tack barrel now basically this one gives you recoil control and bullet velocity and hip recoil control it decreases some of your movement stuff right but we'll get to fixing that after in the other attachments but basically this will give you more range or more range and recoil control so it's actually really good for the tuning for this we have it maximum on ads and maximum on recoil steadiness next we got the uh, uh, slider peq box id basically i don't know how to say that basically it just increases your ads you can use this one it's simple easy like it's just obviously no cons so it's really good you want to use this next we got the vlk stockless basically no stock it's in the name and obviously no stock you're gonna have a lot more recoil and all that but basically this is the movement and we already got better recoil on the first barrel so basically this makes up for it basically so like this balances the gun out more the last thing we have is the true tag grip which increases ads and sprints of fire time but decreases a little recoil and the tuning for this that i have on is the maximum sprint of fire time and it's like in between the recoil steadiness and the ads i didn't want to go all the way to make it a lot more recoil that's why i kept it in between but if anything you want to move it more closer to the recoil steadiness if you feel like it's too much recoil the next weapon we have is the fennec and basically this gun is just so good it's probably the best smg in the game right now in my opinion it kills just too fast like in warzone the time to kill is already fast and now you're killing them like in a half a blink bro they're dead 
so it's actually insane so for the attachments we're gonna use the fennec mag 45 because the ammo goes away so fast you need the max mag that's like you have to have this attachment on it's probably the most important one out of everything here you have to have a 45 round mag, 45 round mag or you're just gonna run out of ammo you're gonna die then we have auto hollow points on the ammunition now the reason i'm doing this is because crippling power was so annoying to me bro and i put it on and it's so nice like literally they, they become crippled bro like it's actually insane and you need this bro like trust me it's actually very good i made the recoil spoon this the highest on the tuning and i left the bottom part default bro trust me this is actually so good next we got the fennec covert force this is just like the barrel from modern warfare it's the exact same basically but it's basically a suppressor and a barrel together right it's very nice very good barrel and yeah i'll show you the tuning for it here's the tuning for it recoil steadiness to the max and ads to the max basically very good this is gonna be amazing so we got the vok laser 7 milliwatts so basically we get the more ads the aiming stability and spins of fire time but they can see the the laser it doesn't really matter so yeah this one is just a win this win attachment w attachment right there and lastly we got the f tax stock cap yeah that's the fennec loadout right there and let's get to the next one which is the tac 56 the tac 56 is possibly one of the best ars in the game if not the best this gun is so good it's, it's the scar right but from the scar from warzone 1 had lots of recoil and it did not have enough ammo this one's kind of different it has enough ammo and the recoil is a lot less so basically it's the scar but actually good Think about it like that. For the first attachment, I would say the magazine 60 round mag, obviously. You have lots of ammo. It's it's just very helpful. More ammo you have, obviously. We got the f tac Ripper 56 as the underbarrel. Now, basically, this is kind of a lot like the Commander 4 group. A lot of the grips are just there. I feel like there's too many in this game. But I just choose one that I feel like is good for that specific gun. So, yeah, that's the one that I chose for this gun. Decreases your ADS, but I mean, it's an AR from long range, you know. So, yeah. The tuning for that, I left it completely default. I did not change it because I didn't want to change anything from this attachment. I thought it was good on its own. So we got the f -Tac Castle Comp. This is good. This is basically a compensator, right? You get less vertical recoil, less horizontal recoil, but you lose ADS and aiming stability. But in my opinion, it's still worth it. The tuning, all I made is the gun kick control the highest because the gun kick in this game, bro, your gun just freaking goes everywhere, bro. So I wanted to make that good. And I left the left side the same because ADS and recoil stabilization balanced. Next, we got the 7.5 inch Tundra Pro Barrel. Basically, this is the long barrel. So we get the damage range, hip fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. And we decrease the ADS and the hip fire recoil control. But, like, still, it's worth it. Here's what I have for the tuning the highest recoil steadiness possible, and the ADS and damage range balanced out. Lastly, we got the FSS Combat Grip for more recoil control. Basically, this is just a long range build, and you'll have even more recoil control with that. For the tuning, we have the sprints of fire to the max and the recoil steadiness and ADS balanced out. Now let's get to the final one that we have here, which is the MP7 or the Vel 56, I think it's called in this game. Yeah, Vel 46. So first, let's start off with the 60 round mags. Basically, this gun is a fast fire rate SMG, but not as fast as the Fennec. So basically, you don't, you can get 60 rounds on this and you won't have, you'll be able to kill like two or three enemies, maybe even four without having to reload if you're good with it. So yeah. 60 round mags, that's all you need, it's very good. Next for the rear grip, we got the Schleiger Soldier Grip. Basically, it's perfect. This one, ADS, spins fire, re uh, less recoil control, but it's like, for the SMG, it's perfect. It's like stubble grip tape. For the tuning, we have sprints of fire to the max, and the ADS and recoil steadiness balanced out. Next, we have the Vel A568 Collapse Stock, which is basically like a no stock. So you get the movement and less recoil. It's good because it's an SMG. This is basically going to be like the most movement fast, close range SMG you will ever need. And we got this attachment again, the VLK LZR 7 milliwatt, the ADS. It's just basically this attachment is a W bro. Like this it's just a W attachment. And lastly, we got this barrel for the ADS hip fire recoil control. And obviously you're losing bullet velocity, hip fire accuracy and damage range. But still, it's like the close range barrel, so it's very good. And for the tuning, I made the recoil steadiness to the max and the aim down sight speed to the max. So basically, it's the most movement build possible. And yeah, that's the build for the Velfit 46. So thank you for watching the video. I hope it helped you out. Please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content.